The really great thing about the biennial is it provides many layers of multicultural exchange. So in addition to looking at business opportunities, we can also enjoy the fruits of the social interactions of people um, from across borders. We can enjoy the cultural exchange. And so I love doing business in an environment where I'm gonna eat great food and see great art and meet really interesting people and know that it's fruitful and it's gonna go on for many years. I mean, mutual understanding is key in order to open up and take advantage of the opportunities to talk about our own cultures. We have our own cultures, we respect each other, but also to share best practices, to share culture, to, to share different visions, it enrich ourselves. The Biennial uh, for the Americas does a, a wonderful job in this regard. It's really exciting to be at the U.S.-Mexico Energy Forum because the Colorado's oil and gas industry has a lot of opportunities now with energy reforms in Mexico. We can both look for opportunities to develop business there, but also look for investors and partners for our operations here in Colorado. Well, I think this is a great initiative uh, to have this U.S.-Mexico Energy Forum because uh, many things are happening in Mexico and in the bilateral agenda with the United States. Who are our trade partners? Where are there markets uh, into which we can expand? And he's always uh, talks about meeting with other governors and their focus is east-west. They look to uh, Asia, they look to Europe, but for Colorado it makes far more sense and is more consistent where we were with where we've been historically to look north and south and that our strongest trading partners always have been and continue to be Canada and Mexico. Reform that has been passed in Mexico that opened the markets for the private companies and we are looking for the international companies to attract foreign direct investment in Mexico. Well this is one of the wonderful events where we are trying to talk to people about the good opportunities that Mexico has in the energy sector. We have funds in Mexico that want to bring Colorado companies into Mexico, and that's exactly what we need. You're talking about a program of $590 billion. Uh, Mexico is really prominent in our list, primarily because of the, um, the timing of the energy reforms there. Uh, it's really a once in a lifetime opportunity, and when you um, combine the opportunities in Mexico with the leadership that Colorado has, especially in unconventional oil and gas development, but also in renewable energy and um, you know, uh, regulatory um, uh, regimes and everything else that we're doing here in Colorado, there's really a lot of room for our businesses to take advantage of, of new opportunities in Mexico that you know, won't be there forever. You like to, to feel like we hold the keys um, into entering this market and we would wish to pass them on to all interested companies that wish to start doing business or continue to do business in Mexico. So that's why the governor and others worked together to create this biennial of the Americas that has worked so well. It started when he was a mayor in Denver, it's continued and it has brought not just business folks but artists and educators, others together, innovators here to really share ideas. Come and do business in Mexico. There will be benefits for everybody. Enjoy being a partner with Mexico. And remember, we're neighbors and there is nothing we can do about it. We will be together for the rest of our lives. So let us spend the time not regretting such a situation, but take advantage of it and make the best of it. Thank you.